Not that I want to, <laughs> but when did we stop washing one another's feet as we are clearly told to do? Well, first thing is um, all churches haven't. Foot washing is still a, a very routinely practiced thing in a variety of, of different kinds of Christian churches. And if you have any experience in uh, the Roman Catholic Church, if you have any experience in sort of liturgical high Episcopalian churches, they certainly do other churches as well. And in the Methodist Church, there is, there is a service of foot washing, perfectly valid thing to do. Uh, why do we not do it? Probably for the same reason that your question starts with, not that I want to. <laughs> right? I mean, you may be beautiful, but we got some nastiness going on, you know, when it comes to, come to the feet. And, and so I, I'll give you the textbook answer, but I don't buy it. All right? The textbook answer uh, would be that in Jesus' day, it was a symbol of cultural hospitality. In Jesus' day, uh, it was expected. It was, it's like having a welcome mat. The first thing you would do is you'd step into a house. Uh, there would be a, a small vessel of water and a bowl, and a servant, if they were wealthy or someone else, uh, would come, and they would literally wash, wash or rinse off your feet, and then you would move uh, without your sandals into the rest of the home. So uh, some people would say that it's because uh, it was a sign of hospitality that, that uh, because times have changed, isn't quite as relevant as used to be. Uh, today, uh, I mean, it would maybe be more, more something like uh, uh, when you come in, you expect somebody to offer you a cup of coffee or a glass of water to drink. It's on, a sign of welcome to say that, you know, you are not just, just a person here. You are a guest here. We are glad to have you here. Uh, you are welcome here. Anything along those lines would be similar things. So the textbook answer would be we don't do it anymore because it's lost its cultural significance as time has gone by. Now, as I said before, though, I don't know that I quite believe that because it's also an act of humility. And I think we don't do humility well in today's church. And so because of that, it might be something that we need to bring back. And that if the church is really to be the church, it has to be humble. And I know of no sort of liturgical, worshipful, scriptural way than to embody humility than maybe washing feet. There's a reason that the Gospel of John has the foot washing story uh, where it is, is. It should be where the Last Supper is, and John has taken out the Last Supper and put the foot washing story in it because I think he wants to emphasize how extraordinarily important it was for us to know that Jesus was above all humble and his church uh, is called to be the same. So, powerful question. I will think about that. But here's the deal. If you're going to ask that question and we do a foot washing service, you got to show. <laughs> All right.